Jim Murray, who was a famous sports writer. And he was one of, he was kind of a pioneer. And he started writing kind of fun stuff. He'd go out and write, write about a guy and he wouldn't, it wouldn't be all serious and, and this is where the guy lives and all this stuff. It would be just kind of having fun with it, you know, making it, making it a lighthearted thing and, and making it entertaining. Because when people read the paper, they read it for different reasons, but one of them is to be entertained, you know, you want to have, maybe have a little bit of fun. So I just started, I guess I just always leaned that way. And since I started doing it, it just kind of took off in that bad direction and, and I was <laughs> kind of stuck in that. But it, to me, it's, I still go to games and I'm not so hung up on who wins or loses, but the, the interesting and the fun things that, that happen. Like so, the Raider fans that have Yeah, the Raider, the Raider fans don't like me. Al, <laughs> Al Davis doesn't like me either. The, you know, well, a couple, a lot of people don't like Al Davis, so. Yeah. Okay, well, fewer people do. But I, guess, I think it was two years ago I wrote something um, that he didn't like. And I've known him for years, going back to when the Raiders were in Los Angeles, and I was working there. And I went in the locker room afterwards, and he used to go in the locker room, and uh, he doesn't anymore, but uh, most of the players are gone, and I saw him across the room, and I figured, I'll go say hi. We're not buddies or anything, but we do you know, say, ex exchange pleasantries or whatever. And so I walked over, and when I got near him, he looked at me and he says, F you, Scott Osler. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, you know what, that thing you wrote, and he started swearing at me, yelling at me, and, and he, he said, if I was 15 years younger, I'd kick your effing ass. <laughs> so I, okay, I'll see you later. So that was it. I didn't, even, I didn't have a clever comeback. I still don't have one. Don't make me get out my time machine or something. So it's, I, there's, the sports is serious, and I know how hard these guys work at it, so I don't ever want to trivialize what they do. Like, it's just, eh, who cares if this game? Because I know it's very serious, and, and, and fans take, a lot of fans take it seriously, but there's also room, I think, for a lighter, more sort of more fun look at it. So that's what I do. Did you ever have a problem with editors, like, not liking you writing the lighter side, or did they like it better? I've, I've generally you know. uh, been okay with that, although about four or five years ago, you know, editors come and go and talk people, and managing editor in our paper, um, in fact, I went to a golf tournament and I wrote something I thought was kind of fun. It was different. And I was down in Carmel and I wrote about the town of Carmel and how cute it was and stuff. I thought it was a fun call. You know? There was nothing else going on that day. And I got a call from my sports editor and he said, the managing editor called up and says, tell us we're not to write that crap anymore. <laughs> so, you know, it's anything you do, any kind of writing you do, some people are going to like it and some people aren't. If I was real serious all the time, there would be people say, why, why can't you lighten up more? Now I'm like people that who what does he he just tries to do jokes and stuff so you don't please you can't please everybody for the most part since I still have a job and I haven't for a few years I guess enough enough editors and stuff are okay with it. Right?